This is Frank Taylor with Nature in Your Backyard. In today's episode, well, you can see I'm in my backyard. And I wanted again to follow up today with some of the plants that you can find that are growing in your yard or in your neighborhood or in a local park or on the edge of a fence or edge of a field or a fence row or roadside. You can find these all over the place. So this week we've seen fleabane, we saw wild strawberry, we've seen sink foil, which also has a yellow flower with the five leaves. And today we're going to look at a plant called sour grass. And it actually has several names. I actually have to write them down. It's sometimes called uh, lemon clover because it sort of kind of looks like clover because it has tri it's trifoliate. We've used that word before. Trifoliate. That means it has three leaves. It's, uh, its most common name is called yellow wood sorrel, and its scientific name is Oxalis stricta. Let's just go ahead and take a look at it now. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And here's the make this basic. It's exotic. In the yard. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes. Terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's So here is yellow wood sorrel. And you can see that it has yellow flowers. Those these are, aren't really open all the way. You know, it's here in the grass amongst the other stuff. And I am sure you're gonna find this. This uh, is growing pretty much everywhere. And here's the leaf. And you can see that this leaf is trifoliate. What does trifoliate mean? It has three leaves on it. Uh, tri like it's in a tricycle. And so this is why it gets its name lemon clover because it kind of looks like a clover at first glance but it, uh, each leaf is distinctly heart-shaped see how heart-shaped that is and uh, it has yellow flowers and you can see it kind of grows up from a single stem or several stems here in a bunch um, here you can see it, its seed pods and when these dry out and you touch them sometimes they'll actually burst open Another thing that this plant will do is these leaves um, will kind of fold up at nighttime. And it's getting a little bit cloudy here, and I think some of these leaves are already started uh, to fold. Yellowwood sorrel. So this is what a lot of people will call a weed. And, and you know me, uh, I've never met a weed I didn't like. And remember that a weed really isn't a category in biology. A weed is something that is growing somewhere where somebody doesn't want it. And I want to talk about that again. One of the reasons they would have brought this plant would have been for their um, medicinal purpose. Um, people could get scurvy back at that time. Scurvy was a disease caused by lack of vitamin C. Where do you get your vitamin C? You get your vitamin C from fe fresh vegetables, from lemons, from oranges, and from fruit are really good sources of vitamin C. When the colonists were here, where did they get their vitamin C? In the winter time. A lot of them, you know, lived in cabins. Um, there weren't grocery stores. They grew their own food and they would probably store up dried beans and, and dried meats um, uh, to make it through the winter. So they weren't getting any fresh fruit or any fresh vegetables during the winter. And the same thing would happen to people on, on boats for months and months and months where they'd, where they'd pack their uh, food that, wouldn't, um, that was maybe salted or dried so it wouldn't go bad. And so where did these people get their vitamin C from? So people could get their vitamin C from wood sorrel. And if you had gone through the winter eating dried beef and dried beans when, when spring came, and you could eat some wood sorrel, it probably tasted pretty good. And the reason it's called sour grass or um, lemon clover is because it has a very sour taste. And it has a sour taste uh, from the oxalic acid that's in it, which gives it its scientific name, oxalis. Oxalic acid gives it this lemony taste. However, 
and I always don't encourage you to go out and and eat things that you find outside uh, unless your mom or dad tells you it's okay or you have positively identified that plant for sure for sure if you're an adult while it tastes lemony and it, and it would be great on salads to flavor it oxalic acid in large quantities uh, can be toxic so if you do sample um, uh, sour grass or wood sorrel use it to flavor don't I wouldn't graze on it in large amounts and the settlers for their medicinal gardens to treat things like scurvy and um, also for food to flavor their food no drug stores no uh, far, uh, grocery stores no pharmacies they had to rely on themselves and they had to rely on what they had with them and they relied on the seeds they brought with them to this country so that they could uh, survive and have a quality life here. So um, in the lawn, there's dozens of plants that you can find. So today, your job is see if you can go out um, and find wood sorrel. And if you're a student, check with your parents and see if um, they agree that this is something you could try. Also, you know, the other thing is sometimes in lawns, people put down insecticides and weed killers and stuff. So it also depends on where you get it from. But you'll find that it has a distinctly uh, sour taste. And again, this is another plant that you can find, you can identify, and then Google it, look at pictures to help you with its identification, and find out more about its history. Thank you for watching Nature in Your Backyard today.